Now, in the last part of this question, then, we're given that we have a lighthouse L at the point 18i per 6j. So I've marked it in in coordinates here. And we're told that we know that the ship is going along this path here. And we've got to find the times when the ship is 10 kilometers from the lighthouse L. Well, it's as if we've got a circle of radius 10 kilometers round here. Let's just draw that circle on. Okay, if we just draw that circle on, as I said, it's a circle of radius 10 kilometers from here to here. Let's just mark that in would be 10 kilometers. So the ship could be at this point when it's 10 kilometers away from L. And it could also be at this point here when it's 10 kilometers away from the lighthouse. So we've got to find these two times when the ship's at these two points. Let's say those times were, well, they, they, in the question they say it's capital T. Let's just say it's time T1 and time t2. Now to do this, let's call this point here p. And what we've got in an earlier part of the question, we found that the position vector of any point on the blue line where the ship is sailing was given by a vector s, the position vector s. Now let's just look at this point here. We know that S is equal to 3t plus 9 in the i direction plus 4t minus 6 in the j direction. But we're told that the ship is at these two points when t equals big T. So what I'm going to do is just substitute this t in here and here for the capital T, big T. All right. Now, to find that time, what I'm going to do is look at the position vector of the lighthouse. We know that is 18 across and 6 up, so that's 18i plus 6j. And what I'm going to do is find the vector L to P, and then I'm going to look at the magnitude and equate it to the 10 kilometers. So let's get the vector L to P next. Now L to P is equal to O to P minus O to L. Now, this is a standard result because if you want to go from L to P, you've got to go down here, which is minus O to L, and then up here, which is plus O to P. Plus O to P minus O to L. Okay, so what we need to do now is just subtract these two vectors from one another. And if I do the i components first, we've got 3t plus 9 minus the 18 in the i direction. So let's just put that in as 3t plus 9 minus the 18 in the i direction. Now for the j components, we've got 4t minus 6, and then we've got minus this 6 here. So plus 4t minus 6 minus another 6, and that's in the j direction. And if we clean this up, what we've got is 3t minus 9 in the i direction. And as for the j components, we've got 4t minus 12 in the j direction. Now, we know that the magnitude, written like this, of Lp equals 10. 10 kilometers, this distance here, okay? Now, how do we find the magnitude of a vector? Well, we use Pythagoras' theorem, essentially. We do the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So, what we've got then, if we just come over here, is that therefore, the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, so that's 3t minus 9, all squared, plus 4t minus 12, all squared, equals the high, this hypotenuse, if you like, in Pythagoras' theorem, 10. Okay? Now, 
Let's square both sides. That will get rid of the square root here. Give us 100 on this side. Let's put 100 over here. And I'm going to also square out these brackets at the same time. So we've got 3t all squared, which is 9t squared. We've got 27t minus 27t. We've got two of those if we square it out. So we've got minus 54t. And then minus 9 squared is plus 81. And then for the second bracket, 4t all squared, that's 16t squared. We've got minus 48t when we multiply those two together. And double that, that gives us minus 96t. And then minus 12 squared is plus 144. So we've got a quadratic equation in t, because we've got the t squared terms here. So we need to group them together. That's going to give us 25t squared. Group the t terms together, and you end up with minus 150t. And then if we take 100 from both sides, we've got 144, take away 100 and add that 81. That gives plus 125, and that equals 0. Now you could divide through by 25 at this stage, giving t squared minus 6t plus 5 equals 0. And then factorize this, couple of brackets, and you've got t minus 1 and t minus 5. And if t minus 1 equals 0, that leads to t equaling 1. Or if t minus 5 equals 0, that leads to t equaling 5. So we've got the two times then when the ship, when it's coming up here, is 10 kilometers from L. t1 is obviously going to be after 1 hour. And t2 is going to be after 5 hours. And you could look at it like this as well, I can show you this, that if we put on the velocity which we found earlier at 5 kilometers per hour, okay, in this direction, you can see that it's going this amount in one hour. So after one hour when it starts here, you can see it's at this point, that's when t is 1, and then you've got one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, it was at 21.10, Five hours later, it's just slightly out of scale, but hopefully you'll get the picture that the ship is here, again, 10 kilometers from the lighthouse. Okay, so hopefully you can follow my methods here. And that brings us now to the end of this question.